Bye. That means goodbye, doesn't it? Bye. <laughs> Bye, hello. In any case, Russia is on the mind, and that is because Yulia Samoylova has released her song Flame is Burning. Burning. She talks about the fact that love is a light. Let's discuss it. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this! Deep in the night, love is a light. This song has already drawn so much commentary, and we have to talk about the obvious reasons why. She, of course, is in a wheelchair. She is the second performer in a wheelchair to sing at Eurovision. We've talked about how this is fantastic for inclusion. It really celebrates the theme of Celebrate Diversity. We have a separate video looking at those issues in depth. There are tears in that one, but we're going to keep on smiling in this one. We have to talk about this song, because in the other video I didn't really talk about this song, and this of course is a song contest. Because it is bigger than the song, isn't True. it? I mean, let's just True. be honest. And, you know, one thing I like about Russia is they approach the contest with totality in mind. Yeah. And quite often if you kind of flash back year after year, year after year, quite often the songs have been very linked to the theme of the contest as well as the performers and what they bring to it. Sorry to have cut you there, but no. I feel it's bigger than the song. I, I think the song is irrelevant at this point because it is a good song, um, but there's a bigger idea behind it. Yeah, so if I just judged the song on its own as an MP3, so I didn't know who was singing it, I might think it was not so great. I might think it's very nostalgia for the Soviet Union in the 70s and 80s, which many of our readers who grew up in the Soviet Union have actually said it's very old school. But then when I watch the performance, this is bigger. It's a song contest. We're not judging MP3s, we're judging performances. And the way they shot this video really tugs on heartstrings, because like Conchita Verst, at the beginning, you just see kind of shadows in Conchita Verst and you don't know it's a bearded lady. With this, you don't know she's in a wheelchair initially. And then they pan in. So you just in. see a pretty girl. Yeah, you see a pretty girl who can sing very well, and then you see the wheelchair, and it's like the afterthought. And then it's just gripping. They show people in the audience staring. It's very captivating. And when you listen to the lyrics, flame is burning, perseverance, even when it's dark, love is a light, you see this is all about empowerment. And it's a torch through. song. A it's torch a, it's song. It's a torch song. Flame is and burning. And, you know, you talk about the Soviet era and everything, and I always like it when songs kind of depict the regions, and yeah. this is decidedly Russian. Mm. My issue is, I like the song actually, my issue is the vocals. It seems auto-tuned from start to finish, mm. kind of bizarre in a way, because all I hear is backing vocals and I see no backing, so... <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, that we, is know, another thing. we know she can sing because her cover of Moment Va, I think she was a runner-up on Factor A, the Russian X Factor, she can sing. So I think it's just the video, maybe they had to rush it or something, but the video does sound slightly auto-tuned. And it's a shame because she can sing, and I, I bet you when she sings it's even better. It sounds much better. Normally I would go... But I think she also rides on the wave of empathy. And, and, and I think that, yeah, as a runner-up on X Factor, I mean, quite clearly that was, you know, that was part of her condition that kind of led her to that stage. I mean, she can sing, she's beautiful, and her story is very touching. Mm. And you know what? It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad because thing. Because, ultimately, you want to do well at the contest. You want to do well at the contest. <laughs> so, you know what? Use what you have to get what you want. That's and if true. Russia wants to send her and internally pick her, I'm sure she's not opposed to the idea. I'm sure yeah. she's not doing this. This is the thing. A lot of people say she's being used. And there are many ways to look at this. On the one hand, Russia's in a difficult position. There's a lot of anti-Russian sentiment in Ukraine. Understandably, there's a conflict going on. They haven't done an Armenia 2012 yeah. where they actually pulled out. They could have you know, pulled out, they, but they pulled didn't. Out. They, they wanted to come to the contest because it means something to them. So you have to kind of give them props for that. And they have to think, how do we neutralize the booing? We're often booed. Okay, last year you sent Sergei Lazarev, who's so charismatic, so attractive. Didn't so, get booed. Didn't get booed. He <laughs> made Europe come to get booed. But there are only so many Sergei Lazarev. So, you know, sending a woman in a wheelchair, I see that, yes, it's a buffer against booing, potentially. But it fits with the theme of Celebrate Diversity. There you go. Bingo. It really fits with it. And also, she wants to be there. 
She is not a victim of Russia. She has chosen to go. She knows the circumstances. Can I also say she, as well that uh, th th there are conditions to performing in Ukraine which eliminates at least 60% of Russia's big weight. And potentially her because she's performed in Crimea. This is all up in the air at the time of filming the video. But I, the point I just want to emphasize is that when people say she's being used, it takes away her volition, her agency, her will. She knows the situation. She's a smart woman. She's dealt with discrimination her whole life, so she gets the landscape. So she doesn't need people like us saying, oh, you're being used. No. She sees an opportunity, and she's seizing it. Carpe diem. More power to her. You know what I'm saying? Live for today, oh, honey. Yeah. And while you're at it, celebrate diversity. It's not a bad thing. Not Flame is burning. Keeps my fire burning. Yeah. I've got to tell you. The more I listen, oh. the more I like it, actually. And the mm. more hateful comments I read, the more I like it. Because it becomes more powerful. So people who criticize her for the wrong reasons. It's fine to criticize the song. Totally fine. But people who criticize her or Russia, it actually make it endears the song to you more. Oh, the yeah. more you hear it. So it's kind of going against, you know, the point of their hatred. I actually think staging-wise, this lends itself very well to nice staging. Even in this video, which I think was hastily produced at the end, when they're in the bridge, the lights, um, the way they pan around, it gives it a very stadium feel. This, this look, it is dated. <laughs> Let's just call it that. But because of everything else that's going on, I don't mind it, and it becomes vintage in my mind. It's very catchy. But it's heartwarming nostalgia. It's not yeah. dated. It's not cringeworthy. Yeah. Like you go, ooh. I mean, this yeah. is like. There's something soothing, something familiar about this. After and the night, there is a light. <laughs> and you, you can remember it easily. A flame is burning. It falls on the ears. Is it Russia's best song ever? Obviously not. But I think this year, motivation... But you know what? Let me just pause you there. This can grow. Oh, it's Summer Chalvi Sisters, which it shine initially. Remember our reaction? Yeah, we, we did like the initial version. We sing it today. How many years ago was that? Three, four years Russia ago? Russia gets staging. They choose solid vocal. They never send bad vocalists, ever. They always send top-notch vocalists. And although they internally pick a lot of the time, the people they pick are worthy of it. Very worthy. This song fills me with warmth. That flame that she is burning is burning inside of me when I hear it. I think more people will be touched and moved than will be cynical and say, oh, Russia's in a girl in a wheelchair. I don't think people watching Humble View it the way, I think they'll pause in their tracks and admire someone who can sing and who is doing something very courageous. But I have to say, those who don't see it that way also have a valid platform of expression. It's fine. The reality is there are Olympics and there are Paralympics. If Eurovision decides to kind of have the same platform from, for able-bodied people and people with disability, yeah. then we shouldn't necessarily hate on those who have very strong opinions against disability because well, I'm for whatever reason. I, I can hate on people who hate on people with disability. Oh, no, 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 not hate on people. But, like, if they judge her very harshly, because um, you said something earlier on about um, Russia may have selected her to kind yeah. of neutralize the booing. Yeah. If it doesn't neutralize and people don't like the song for whatever reason, I also feel that they should be allowed to express that. Do you think they should be able to boo? It, it, booing is a form of expression. I don't particularly buy it. I don't like it. I, I don't like it either. But what I'm saying is, if people want to express that they don't like the song or, or whatever, I don't think that they should be hated for saying that, you know, they don't like it and go, oh, you're picking on somebody who's disabled. The reality is she's coming to the contest and it should be, to some degree, equal footing. In any case, we need to talk about whether we think it will make the final. I think this yes. will make the final. Yes, absolutely. I really do think that people, some people have said, oh, the juries will hate this, but I don't necessarily agree. I think that jurors are people too, and they will also judge the total package, and they will feel something as well, and they will look past any cynicism and give this points. It may not win with the jury. I mean, it's a tough semi-final, but they, I think Russia's going to sail through. To I think final. Russia's going to maintain this qualification record. Absolutely. I don't trust these juries anymore. 21 out of 40 case in point. Giving but, the last zero. Yeah, I mean, that <laughs> zero. But I think that she won't max out the 12 points, but she'll get enough to put her through. And certainly, um, the public will warm to her. I, it's celebrate diversity. I mean, honestly, how, it, it couldn't be more fitting. All my life, I'm searching for the meaning. Now I've learned seeing is believing. I wish I knew where light is. I wish I had the courage to go. You have the courage, and you're going right now. You're going to Kiev, and I'm going to cheer for you. I know you're going to cheer for her.
girl, you better slay. And I have to say, William, I'm so proud of you because before we turned on the camera, you were just so teary no, and you haven't cried. I know, I'm not going to. Listen, the other video was filmed in a different set of circumstances. Like, I'm not a mopey person, but like, I was having a But very... you were having a moment before we turned this No, on. I know, because the song, it does stir something in me, which is more complicated oh. than we need to get into. But it's, uh, I respect her as an artist and I respect this song and I'm really glad it's in the contest. So we can leave it at that. Is it a perfect 10? No, of course not. But I think there's a lot of potential here for great staging to have a great performance. In any right. case. And I love this guy. <laughs> so please drop your comments at the end of this video because we would like to read it. And if you haven't got the Wubu Blogs app, you should download it. Yeah, let us know what you're thinking. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube, all of that. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.